the Marslam. It's right around the corner. Like it's legit around the corner. It's it's in two days. One day when this thing is getting released. Um, I hope it's gonna get released before SmackDown because. I'm adding two more matches to this video. Uh, from the title, you all know this is like a prediction video. So I'm going to predict the Summer Slam 2024. First match, we're going to look at the Intercontinental Championship match between Sami Zayn and Braun Breaker. I'm going to make this as quick as possible because one, bro don't have time because bro has an actual job and bro has... No time, not the song from KSI. So yeah, who's gonna win? Um, I feel Braun Breaker's gonna get his win finally because the Money in the Bank match was low-key made. He did not look the monster he was meant to be looked at. So um, yeah, I feel SummerSlam is the perfect uh, place for Braun to win the title. And uh, what about Sami Zayn? Well, um, if Sami Zayn loses, nothing's gonna happen to him. He's just gonna get um, elevated to the World Heavyweight champion scene so um yeah just don't be a hulk hogan sammy you have one job yeah i just feel like bronze gonna win this so braun breaker next up we have lagoon pool and la noit for the united states championship yeah it's gonna win this yeah simple la is gonna win this cause yesterday logan just straight out did something ma some madness on twitter and said what did he say he was basically roasting the fuck out of that woman which uh, which uh later on found out he, she was a biological woman and she was not transgender or something i don't know man but people are giving backlash to logan paul and saying puppets to fire him which is nah fire him really really nah i like logan paul in the ring i want to see him wrestle all the time so i'll, I'll pass on that of course he's a piece of shit for other people yeah so not much to talk. Elena is gonna win this. Finally, the United States Championship is gonna get defended on every PLE almost again. Because with Logan Paul, he was barely defending the title. Instead of giving it prestige, uh, people stopped giving a shit about this title. So, it did not work as they thought it would. So yeah, Logan Paul, it, uh, your time is done. As a championship, you have been... A decent champion, you had banger matches, but it's time for LA Knight, mate. I'm looking at the screen, not you guys, because you all don't deserve my eyesight. Nah. Moving on, LA, LA Knight's winning this. Next up, we have Nia Jax versus Bailey for the Women's Championship. Well, um, honestly, I have no clue what's gonna happen in this match. Is Tiffany Stratton gonna cash in? Is Bailey gonna cause an upset and win it? Is Nia Jax gonna finally win her championship? Which she has won before, but it's been a while she has won a championship. So, I don't know, honestly, it's very 50-50 on my opinion. I want Bailey to win, because... Bailey. It's Bailey. It's Bailey. I, but I feel Naya Jax deserves it more. I don't know, man. Uh, it's very hard for me to decide. Alright, after um, seconds of thinking, I have decided to go with Naya Jax is winning the championship, ladies and gentlemen. And Tiffany Stratton's go is trying to cash in, but she will not end up cashing in. She will try to, but she won't. You get what I mean? I'm a very basic bitch, okay? I can go with predictions which are Predictable. <laughs> Next up, we have Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley. Oh, God. You know what? I feel this is not the end of the feud. Nah, I feel Liv is retaining. And I feel Tom is going to cost Rhea the match. Or Raquel Rodriguez might come back and help uh, Liv Morgan. Instead of just being there. And she might turn heel at the same time. So, ah, uh, yeah. There are two possibilities that this might go Because... Liv can't beat Rhea clean. Not at all. So shenanigans are gonna happen. Raquel or Dom is gonna cost Rhea Ripley the win. And boom. You're not new. Still your women's championship. Heavyweight championship. Liv Morgan. Next up we have Damien Priest and Guntha for the World Heavyweight Championship. Ah, dude, this one's hard. Honestly, this one's so unpredictable. I do not know what's happening here. Is Gunther finally gonna win the World Heavyweight Champion or is Damon gonna retain and cause an upset 
Yet again. I did this for Clash of the Castle where uh, Damien is gonna lose. Guess what he won? And I thought CM Punk and Drew McIntyre will uh, would be for the World Heavyweight Champion. But uh, well, uh, yeah, stuff happened. If you didn't see my video on the WWE Class of the Castle, it's up on my YouTube channel. It has 20 views. Uh, yeah, go watch, please. Yeah, who's gonna win this? See, I want Damien to win. <laughs> I really want Damien to win this. And for Bash in Berlin, I don't want the rematch. I want to add a some bun else. Add Eli Dragon off to it. And you got the 5 star classic of the classics. And then for Bad Blood, Kunta vs. Elia. Another 10 star match. Well, Papa H, make me the book booker of this. Come on, I'm a, I'm a basic bitch, but I do good predictions. I do not, by the way. So yeah, um, I, f I want Damien to win, and I feel Damien's gonna win this. All is a but. I cannot wait for that Finn Balor heel turn or the, the reheat, the reheal turn. Cause they are already a heel, but Damien's a baby face kind of. But Finn is going to betray him or betray the full Judgment Day to become heal again but yeah i'm waiting for that feud between damon priest and finn balor and i really want finn balor to win the world heavyweight championship wrestlemania please i don't know who's going to be the champion at that point but please all right for the people's main event we have cm punk versus drew mcintyre in a special referee match which is seth freaking rollins when it, when it goes to netflix will be seth fucking rollins but for now, it's freaking Rollins. Okay. The most unpredictable match here. Honestly. People are going to say Punk is going to win this. I don't, I don't think so. I feel Drew is going to win this. Drew is finally going to get his win against CM Punk. Because if you look at it. WrestleMania, he is screwed out of Drew's ma uh, of uh, his uh, World Heavyweight ch Champion. Where else? Clash at the castle. Um, he screwed him out by being the referee. The Raw after Mania. He screwed him out for the fatal four-way match. What else? What else? Money in the bank. What has Drew done? Just beat the shit out of him um, in Chicago. Start to rain again. Oh no, the mice going to catch this all up. Uh, so I feel Seth Rollins is going to cost CM Punk the win. Listen to me. Walk with me, guys. Walk with me. Drew and Seth have a mutual understanding and a warrior's respect against each other seth and cm punk do not do not and i feel some shenanigans might happen and um seth will end up hitting cm punk and that's how it ruins all right for the main event we have howdy rose versus solo sikoa for the undisputed you know universal is gone from the picture undisputed wwe championship oh uh, yeah cody's gonna win this predictable easy but after the win the bloodline 2.0 is gonna come in the ring and attack cody Rhodes. solo is gonna destroy cody and then we got <laughs> that was roman's song if you all didn't know uh, roman's gonna come back well that does not seem to be the case cause it's bloodline rules after this episode of smackdown um solo sick of our told cody like to be bloodline rules uh yeah I don't know why I'm standing here because um, people are sleeping in my room so I don't have place to uh, uh, record this. I mean, oh my god, I look so skinny or <laughs> I've been this is the most skinny I've ever become. After I after I became sick I just became skinny as fuck. Okay. So yes. It's bloodline rules. <laughs> yeah, that's our uh, summer slam. Oh wait, I have here the two title matches too. Um, blah, blah, blah. for the world heavyweight tag team championships, Jimmy's gonna cause the bloodline the win. Simple, easy. So Johnny Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa is gonna retain. Well, Jimmy didn't return. Summer slam it is. <sighs> And for the women's one, I feel, I really feel the unholy union's gonna win this. I was right. Unholy union actually won. Boof. And I feel that's gonna be the start of um, Jade and Bianca's feud. I don't know. I'm going around the edge because I really want unholy union to have a dominant run in this. Alright, cool. That's our Summer Slam and your Friday Night Smackdown predictions. If you all enjoyed it, 
you all enjoyed it see you all sunday cuz i'm going to record the review of summer slam 2 so sunday let's see man cool enjoy your day guys good night